This is the minion game. It is a hacker rank, uh, medium difficulty problem. Uh, today I'll be working with Python, and I've been kind of getting into that lately. Um, so if you're doing any kind of uh, prep for a job interview or a technical job interview, um, you know this is the place for you. We're doing some coding challenges, uh, and I'll be walking through uh, my solution. Uh, but I'll give you some time to try it on your own. Uh, all the stuff is in this, the description, so you know check that out. So here's the problem: uh, the minion game. Kevin and Stuart want to play the minion game. Both players are given a, the same string S, and both players have to make substrings using the letters of that string. Stuart has to make words starting with consonants, and Kevin has to make words starting with vowels. The game ends when both players have made all possible substrings. Uh, and the scoring goes that uh, each player gets one point for each uh, occurrence of the substring in the full string. So here we're giving an example of banana, and uh, uh, Kevin has to uh, work with vowels. Uh, so a word, a sub, a substring would be like a by itself, a n or a n a, and you can just keep going uh, from there basically. And there's a nice little uh, diagram here. So I, I really like the visual here uh, to show you what's going on. So that's that's the, the task, and uh, we're told we are supposed to print out a, a one-liner, um, the name of the winner and their score separated by a space. For example, Stuart space 12 for the banana situation. Um, if the game is a draw, print draw. And that's it. Um, so I'll give you, you all a, a moment to try it on your own. This is, uh, again, uh, the minion game on Hacker Rain, and I, I'll be having a, the link in the description, and uh, I'll come back with my solution. So uh, the first time I was going over this, I was thinking I might try creating the substrings myself and then kind of searching the word um, that would take a kind of nested loop and that was going to take forever. Um, so uh, I started to kind of look for patterns. And so uh, again, taking pen to paper kind of really helps with the situation. And so here I have the example of a banana, <laughs> the, the word banana. And I wanted to notice um, something that we might uh, kind of recognize right off the bat, which is that every time you get to a new letter, you're basically creating all the words based on that that letter and then every letter after it. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's start with the letter B here. So if we're counting consonants, B by itself is its own uh, you know substring. So B by itself is its own thing. So if I can draw here. So B by itself is one. So it's like you count it as one. But then the word BA is its own substring. So that's like two. And then BAN, three, four, five, six. So starting with the letter B, you can create six substrings from that first one. So if I take that out, I'm going to call this, you know, six. If I'm starting with consonants, if I go to the next letter A, well, I shouldn't. If I'm, I'm working with consonants, then I can't create any word starting. Uh, I can't create any word, uh, substrings with uh, a consonant if it starts with a. So here I'll have zero for uh, consonants. Um, if I go to n, well, of course, n by itself, then n a, then n a n, and then n a n a, and then that's four. So here I have four, and then zero for a again, and then for n a, or sorry, for, for n, you just have n and n a. So there are two, and then zero for this one. And that gives us a total of 12 consonants, uh, uh, substrings, 10 total substrings made with uh, starting with consonants. And you start to realize that the number above the letter here is just the length of all the, the, all the letters all the way to the left, from left to right. Um, so, so this is how you can actually find figure out the pattern here. So let's do the same thing with um, this, the, the vowels as well. So if you start with B, obviously you can't create anything from um, from B that starts with a, a vowel. So that's going to be zero. Um, a is going to start with A, 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 like this one, two, three, four, and five. So here I'll put five for this. Zero for the consonant. One, two, three for this. So that's three. Zero for that. And then of course one for that. And so here we'll get nine for the vowel, for you know consonants versus vowels here. So 12 uh, substrings for consonants, 9 substrings for vowels. In this case, the, the consonants would win. If we go back to our example, uh, which is uh, being shown to us, Stuart 
uh, is the one with the consonants, and so Stuart has 12 total, Kevin has 9, and that's how you might be able to calculate that. And you'll notice that doing it that way, you can only you only need to go through the list or the you know letters once. So that's what my code looks like basically. So it's a, once you get that pattern, it becomes a lot easier to, to work with. So here I am in Python, and I have my uh, definition here. I, I establish my vowels a e i o u. We're told that va y is not a vowel, so that's not in that list or in that uh, that string. Uh, then I have two variables that are going to keep track of Kevin versus Stewart's. Um, count or, or score. Um, I, I'm a little, little redundant by saying Kevin the underscore vowels, but it helps with like keeping everything in, 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 in your mind. So uh, Stuart consonants and Kevin vowels, they're associated with each other in that way. Uh, here I established n equals the length of the string, just so that we have that kind of idea in mind. And I just loop through one up or you know zero through the length of the string, um, and that will give us effectively a big O of n, n being the length of the string. Uh, and then here we grab the individual letters from that string using a little indexing. And then we just do dot lower so that we can make lowercase comparisons. You could also just keep it as uppercase. Um, there's no need to do it as lower. Uh, I think by default, the, the words coming in are capitalized. But just to be consistent, I, I thought it would be, um, that's how I, I tend to do things. So uh, anyway, you have your letter. And then here you have your letters remaining. So that's the position that you're currently in. Um, minus the total, so you can get like how many letters to the to, uh, in total there are uh, from that position to the, to the right. Uh, and basically, all I'm checking here is if this letter is within the vowels, then it's considered a vowel, and so that's Kevin's score that's going up. Otherwise, it's Stuart's consonant score going up, uh, and you increase it by the letters that are remaining. Um, and uh, that that little check here, I just want to keep in mind that technically it's um, big O of five because you're checking five vowels. But because it's a constant, it's not going to be in, um, really adding any um, difference to the, the to the time complexity. Uh, and here is just my output. Uh, we're told to print, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm uh, told uh, if Stuart and Kevin have the same count, then that's a draw. Otherwise, if Stuart is greater than Kevin, then you just print Stuart with his uh, his score, and then otherwise Kevin with his score. And in the end, you have a time complexity of just big O of, of n. Um, so let's run this code, see how that looks. All right, cool. So it looks like we have uh, our code running. So I'll submit the code. And bada bing, bada boom. Pretty straightforward. I was a little surprised this was considered a medium uh, difficulty. Because, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it seemed, maybe I'm just getting better also, which is a thing. But I, you know, I, I felt this was pretty straightforward. Um, uh, let me know in the comments if, you know, uh, if you have any other uh, particular problems that you would like me to do. Because I'm up for trying out whatever challenges you, you got for me. So, I um, hope that was helpful. Um, so, definitely, if you enjoy this content, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I will see you next time. Take care.